In this video, we're going to show you how to place a rotary inside the PS24 and 48 lasers. Also, at the end of the video, we have tips to help you with your next rotary application. The first thing you'll want to do is power off your laser. Next, remove the honeycomb and the knife tray from the laser bed. Place the rotary inside the laser bed and push it up against the wall to make sure that it's flush. Now you'll want to disable the wire connections. And lower the Z table to give room for the application. Next, place the object inside the rotary. Make adjustments to make sure that it fits inside the rotary correctly and so that the very top of the object is level. Next, bring over the laser head and focus it to the highest point of the object. Make sure that it's rotating away from you. The process we use to place a chuck rotary inside the PS48 is basically identical. With the chuck rotary, you can either clamp an object from the outside or grip an object from the inside by making adjustments with the tool. So there are two adjustments for the friction rotary itself, being the first one that we are going to look at. The first adjustment is this one and the knob here to scissor lift it up. To do a cup like this, you want to remove the top and find out what is the best orientation for doing your project. Most importantly, you want this surface to be level. You can add rubber bands to add friction. If that doesn't work, then you can always add a bean bag inside to create weight. When doing glass, you want to use the friction rotary because you cannot use it with the chuck rotary. Again, getting it level is key. Now we have the chuck rotary. There are two adjustments that can be made for your application. On the chuck rotary, you can slide this and you can adjust the actual chucks via this. You can go in or out, depending on your application. If you're doing glass objects, you definitely do not want to use the chuck as it clamps in or on uh, the actual object. It's going to break. And there you have it. I hope these tips and tricks help you with your next rotary application.